what's going on everyone? My name is Alex Blogger from AlexBlogger.com. Um, you already know what it is, man. I don't think he needs introduction. You know what I'm saying? the hour right now. Let's um, get it. Dwayne Bowers. Mm -hmm. D. Bowers, how you doing, bro? I'm doing good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Chilling. You know what I'm saying? You got some shit you want to, uh, you want to talk about today? Yeah, we got to get straight to it. Let's get straight to it. <laughs> All right, so um, first things first. So, you know, Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj, they've been beefing for, you know, the last few years now. Um, Remy, you know, she dropped Sheet there. And then she dropped another this song called Another One. Um, Nikki came back with no fries, and then she got a verse with two chains on his song. Um, did she just um, Remy in the song. Anyway, so how you feel about them going back and forth? Like, you think they should squash their beef and get get the bag, or you like the competition? What's your take on it? To be honest with you, I think like I feel like to be honest with you, I don't know why they beefing, but at the same time, it's like it ain't really my business. But I feel like. It's kind of like, I don't even know why Remy even be for Nicki, because they got, they made two different, they like two different type of, like, she more like a mainstream artist, and what's name more like, Nicki? A, Nicki more like a mainstream artist, you feel what I'm saying, and what, Remy more like a street, more like a, more for like the, like, hood type artist, so it's like, they in two different type of, like, leads time, like, when it comes to, like, even when Nicki, she, like, signed with, like, different, she got endorsements. Remy don't really got endorsements. Like, mm -hmm. she don't love a hip-hop. That's why she dissed her and said, you getting bodied by uh, somebody on love a hip-hop. Like, she getting bodied. Yeah, on, on, on her, uh, you listen to the diss, she was talking about that. Like, she was talking about all type of stuff, how Nicki got her 360 deal, because she got, before she even get her check, it got to go through the Birdman, then it go through Wayne, then she get her shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of shit. And it ain't like that with Remy, so. I feel you on that. Yeah. I think um, they both got it. I mean, they both got bars, but Nikki been she ain't hungry like she used to because she already got the the money, so she don't really got nothing else to prove. You know what I mean? Yeah, but at the same time, she uh, I feel like Nikki her bars it, it, like people write her while her people write her, her lyrics anyway they ain't her lyrics even though she can spit yeah for so real. i i ain't i, I ain't saying I'm, I'm just hearing but like she cold as fuck don't get me wrong nikki got she got songs like you can never not then she got a big fan base and everything but i'm saying just like how they say drake drake is a great artist but they say people write his music ain't nothing wrong with it but he still selling he, he drake he never admitted it but still at the same time it's like people say that shit so <laughs> For real, <laughs> I feel you on that. So, um, you know, Offset from the Migos, he's been, you know, buzzing lately all over the internet this, this past weekend about, <laughs> you know, charging 250000 for a verse. Mm -mm. I mean, how you feel about that? I'm going to tell you, like, we all said y'all, like, this nigga, like, like, this shit be I me mean, weak, the industry shit, like, we just be realistic, like, my nigga, 250000 like, who the fuck gonna really charge 250000 like that's a house. So you tell me I'm gonna give you a house for a verse. You tell me you worth the house. Bro. That's a that's somebody Saturday year, bro. Like, like who are you, my nigga? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I was being one. Like you, like you, you, you got hits and shit. But like, who gonna pay two hundred fifty? You you basically telling everybody that you don't want nobody to do music with you. That's all I look at it. You basically telling people. I only want to fuck with my clique, Migos, and if you want to fuck with me, you gotta pay this much. Yeah. Basically, that's what it's saying. I respect that, but it's like, nigga, ain't nobody gonna really be doing shit with you. That's just one hundred. Like, like two chains don't charge that much, and I feel like two chains probably bigger. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? I don't think. I think uh, who else is probably big? That uh, Kevin Gates don't probably charge that much, and I think Kevin. YG. Gets, yeah, YG don't. Future don't charge that much. I'm gonna be honest with you. So it's like. I respect that you probably don't want to do music with nobody else, but the Migos, get your money, bro. Get that paper. I, I, I love, like, the Migos, so this is not a shot. I'm just saying, like, 250 for a verse is ridiculous, in my opinion, too. It is. <laughs> like, that's too much money. For real, man. Um, now, you mentioned off camera, you said Lil Yachty's getting sued for the song Peekaboo. Yeah, they, the yeah, they, uh, they saying basically that that song Peekaboo that he did, that was somebody else's song. And he took that, took the whole concept of the song and did that shit. So somebody's actually trying to sue him for that right now. Cause He's, there's a game you play with your kids when they're born, you know. Boo, yeah, but, but the fact that somebody made a song out of it. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's kind of a. Hey, it shows why society has gone. Yeah, yeah, like hey, 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 and and and, and we we saw West over here, so we gonna keep that shit 100. You know what I'm saying? But and that and that's just 100, like. But like I said, it's all about the paper, I guess. You know what I'm saying? It's not really. And he did make a song called Peekaboo. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that just sounds terrible. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Real shit. 
if it had no beat and it was just peak, like no beat at all, uh-huh. what would it sound like? Not good. If you took everything out, because this is music, if you take everything out, it's like peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. <laughs> Paper is a pussy like peekaboo, peekaboo, peek. You know, I'm like, what? What does it talk like? <laughs> nigga, like, no, nah, bro. Speak, like, yeah, like, bro, what the fuck? See, people don't understand. When you take them lyrics, even with Lil Yachty, you take them lyrics, I mean, uh, uh, Lil Uzi, you take, you take the lyrics off, you like, what is you saying? You just saying whatever, bro. That's a part of the, of, of the beats, man, nowadays. And um, so, he was, Lil Yachty was on Everyday Struggle with DJ Academics and Joe Budden. Um, 